Our next speaker, Mr. Tom Nagel, is going on his second year as a Delawarean at Felix Surf, and he's starting to find his groove here. If you have trouble finding him, check El Diablo Burrito, which is delicious in Charlie Square, who's been there thus far. Delicious, say hello to the roasted, roasted mushroom burritos. Uh, Toscana during happy hour or in the labyrinth behind the Delaware Art Museum. Tom Nagel is the proud parent of 2,000 red wiggler worms, and he's named them all. <laughs> they came in the mail last week and are at home right now composting his food scraps. If there are any fellow vermiculturists here tonight, please reach out and connect with him. He is Mr. Tom Nagel. about body hacking and body hacking are all the techniques tips and tricks to get healthier healthier bodies healthier minds I'd encourage you to find one thing in this presentation that you can take back and use now why do this when we talk about this health care crisis in America we have a health crisis uh, there's so many things that we should be doing that we need we know that we know we need to do but we're not they say that only 3% of Americans pull off the four basic health behaviors that have the greatest impact on our longevity, and that is not smoking, that is exercising regularly, that is maintaining a healthy body weight, and that is drinking in moderation. So cheers. Uh, what you need to know is like body hacks are little things. They're, they're little hinges that can swing big doors in your life. And we all know that without health, we have nothing. So what do body hacks look like? Well, they can take the form of research. And there's a fellow in Japan named Izumi Tabata. And about 15 years ago, he discovered that if you did four minutes of intense exercise, just 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off, that has a greater anaerobic effect than an hour of moderate exercise. So do we all have four minutes to spare? Yes. yes. Sure. <laughs> There's also no shortage of gadgets out there. This is the Fitbit. This costs $99. You clip it on. It'll tell you how many calories you burn. It'll tell you how well you slept. And if you're within 10 feet of your computer, it'll upload everything automatically. Now, this is high tech. But I'm a bigger fan of low tech. This is the pull-up bar that I put in between the dining room and the kitchen. Every time you go to the kitchen, you have to do three pull-ups. So what's happened? I hate going to the kitchen. <laughs> it's made me aware and it's made me a little bit stronger. Another body hack you can do is seriously break all the big plates in your house. Research has shown that when you eat out of a bigger container, a bigger bowl, off a bigger plate, you simply eat more. So part of what I'm talking about is simply to raise awareness. If there's one thing I would encourage you to do, one hack, that you should absolutely take on is keep a nutrition journal for one week. Measure every single morsel of food or ounce of drink that crosses your lips for one week. It'll shock you. You'll learn that a can of Trader Joe's O's pasta, which is near and dear to my heart, has 1,400 milligrams of sodium. That's almost what the AMA wants you taking in in an entire day. That's about three minutes of eating time. You'll learn that when you're cooking and you're liberally pouring olive oil, every tablespoon is 120 calories. Now, this is not about becoming neurotic calorie counters. This is about becoming more aware of what you're putting in your body, and I guarantee most of us simply don't know. Another hack that I'd recommend is to streamline the foods you eat. Instead of eating everything, eat less stuff, but make sure the stuff that you're eating is nutritionally dense. Uh, this is my smoothie every morning, and for the most part, four or five of those things are standard every day. Now, an important hack to keep in mind is observate when you're being observed doing something, your behavior is going to change, right? That's called the Hawthorne effect. They discovered that 80 years ago at Western Electric. So the National Weight Control Registry monitors 5,000 people across the country who have lost at least 30 pounds and have kept it off for at least a year. And this is what those successful people did. They stepped on a scale, 80% stepped on a scale at least one time a week. 50% of them step on a scale every day. So an easy body hack is to simply step on a scale more, right? If you buy the Withings Wi-Fi scale, 
You can step on this whenever you want, and it'll upload your way to the web, right? <laughs> it's not, this is not about being crazy about your way. It's about bringing awareness. And you can upload it to a site like The Daily Burn, right? On The Daily Burn, I track my exercises. I track the food I eat, right? And then I can connect with friends, and those friends are now my motivators, right? And they can see what I'm doing. They can see what I'm eating. But more importantly, they can see what I'm not doing and what I'm not eating. And I can attest that this has changed my behavior, right? If you want an added oomph, you can throw down a challenge of say, I want to exercise three times a week for a month. And you, and you can use a site like stick.com, which is brilliant. You pick your challenge or you can challenge somebody else. You pick a referee, right? And if you don't do what you said you'd do, they're going to ding your credit card for whatever you told them to ding it for. And they'll donate it to either a charity or an anti-charity. Brilliant. Right? So this is all about you becoming a better student of yourself. It's about you becoming more aware. It's about you becoming more conscious. And you've got to figure out what hacks work specifically for you. Because we're all different. So in closing, I would say this. Find out what works for you, move a little more, eat a little better, and if you need a referee on stick.com, I'd be happy to volunteer. <laughs>